If you didn't know already how to do it, here's how to change trailer, ATV, lawn tractor, motorcycle, you know, and small vehicle tires just with a couple screwdrivers or something like that. They're all, they all work pretty much the same way. First of all, there's three kinds of bead styles. The first bead style is the tube style tire. It doesn't have very much of a bump or anything on the inside of the rim to lock the rubber bead of the tire to the outside of the rim. It just can be slipped right off by just stepping on the edge of the tire and it'll separate the tire from the edge of the rim. Tubeless tire design like car tires and many other things have a partially locking sealing system to bead to rim and they're more difficult to separate. You may need to squish the tire in a vise, press it in a tire machine, or place the tire you're going to change right in front of the wheel of a vehicle and slowly drive over the rubber part close to the rim and that may break it for you. It's usually stupid to try to beat it with a big hammer. You'll usually end up wrecking your rim. Another method is put the rubber part of the tire on your face of your jack and put it underneath a high vehicle or something heavy and start jacking it up and that will create a lot of pressure and a squishing edge to break the bead. So once that's done the way you change the tire is I like to set the nipple for the air fill at least to that side or that side and start there. So you step on your tire and you get the bead to drop to the lowest pocket inside your rim. Then you get a pair of screwdrivers and if you have no tube in there you don't have to worry but if you have a tube you have to be very careful not to prick your tube. It's sometimes very important not to have that nipple either on the business area here or where you're working where you're starting. It gets in the way and it sometimes causes you not to be able to get your bead to drop deeply into the pocket or if you have a tube it causes your tube to stick up there somewhat and your screwdriver will catch it and damage it. So now I've got it stepped on and I've got my screwdriver carefully in there in case there's a tube and I've got a lip pried up and then I just get some soapy water or, something, or spray nine or something like that and I lube the edges like so. Now by taking small bites of the tire at a time I start to unpeel it while still keeping the pressure on the other side to keep the bead into the deep groove. It may be also necessary sometimes to say for example pinch your rim a little bit with a vice grip right there to stop the tire from slipping around at the same time you're unpeeling it off or peeling it back on. Well that took about one minute and it's, it's all peeled. If you have a tube type tire, you only have to peel one side off. You can just lift your tire up and get enough space in there to get your hand in there and get out the tube. If you want to completely take the tire off the rim, it's best to just flip it over like I did now and work from the back side and stick your shoe divers here and there and pry the tire off that way. The second side always comes off a lot easier. My tire had a tube in it, that's the way I want it to be. But when you're installing new tubes or even putting the old one back in, tubes very often have a, have a right or left side, unless they're on a motorcycle. So that means the nipple is more off-center. And if you put it in backwards, it may go in fine. As soon as you start blowing it up, all of a sudden it'll suck itself in. You can't get a hold of the nipple anymore. And you've got your tire all put back together. The only way to get your tire back apart is actually put a hole in it and bleed the air out and start all over again then patch your hole if you put the tube in upside down so that sucks to put it back on I've got the valve stem over there a vice grip opposite to it now I'm going to stand as best as I can here sometimes it takes two people get that lip into the deep groove and then get my screwdriver and work this all the way around and slowly peel it on by small amounts at a time and that just went on and 30 seconds. Of course sometimes it takes longer. Now especially on quad tires to reseal the bead takes a lot of pressure because it's that high pressure locking bead because it's a low pressure tire. So my advice is to put spray nine or soapy water all the way around both sides of the bead and then put your lots of air pressure in and even park it in the sun because warming it up helps it slip on too. 
and it's done it's actually pretty easy no use paying someone 25 bucks or something when it's just basic tools and a little bit of weight last thing I didn't mention that I took that quad tire to a shop and had them use your machine to break the bead ATV tires or quad tires are very low pressure so they don't use air to give a tight fit to lock the bead to the rim they have a bead locking design which is very difficult to break the bead the other methods, methods I showed and talked about probably won't work so if you don't have one of those kind of machines you better go to a place and have someone break the bead for you they have this kind of high pressure locking bead because the tires are low pressure and if you're doing hard cornering you don't want the tire to all of a sudden flip off the rim and then roll your machine.